Welcome to Big Catch Fishing Mississippi. I've got some footage from two days of fishing for crappie with live scope using jigs. On the second day, about halfway through the video, I've got my Minn Kota Tarova with spot lock hooked up and working. It is awesome. It holds you on the brush pile or the school of fish or wherever you are. Doesn't matter how fast the wind is blowing. It is an awesome tool game changer. I got my buddy Festus with me today, keeping an eye on things. Let's get started. There's one. Shit, he's right at 12 inches. I'm gonna keep him. We gotta eat tonight. Please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. There's one. Black crappie. Look at now that is. Oh, that's 13 and a half. Look at that black stud crappie. Nice. There's one. Good one too, man. These are big crappie on that tree. Oh my goodness, get up here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the size of this toad. It's 14 and a half inches long. Look at that thing, black crappie. Right on that tree, man. There's some big studs sitting on that tree. There you go, see? There's one. Get up here. That's a good one. Another big. That's a 13 and a half inch black crappie. Look at that stud. Yes. 
I got my buddy Festus with me, and I've got the Minn Kota Taroba hooked up and ready to go. It's really nice. It uses a lot less uh, space than the old four tracks, primarily because of the uh, the cable that, that was connected to the foot pedal. So this is the old Minn Kota uh, four tracks on the right, and the Tarova is on the left. You can see that uh, cable connected to the foot pedal on the four tracks. Really takes a lot of space and not as convenient. The foot pedal is low profile has a, a cord connected to it but it's easy to move around there's the support that i had installed to support the head of the unit so it won't flop around those things are really nice and you press on the toe to turn right heel to turn left and you press on the power button to propel your the motor to move also you can touch the right or left button with your foot and that center button to move the propeller as well it's really convenient you have to turn it on for sure and then right below that that uh, pad you, you press that pad to uh, release the motor by hand the Ultrex which is higher up releases um, automatically but those are a lot more expensive and a lot heavier this unit also has a hand control that's really nice I haven't used it yet but I definitely plan to a lot of people say it's really convenient to operate that motor by hand so we're gonna get out and try it see how it goes so what I was doing is throwing the uh, bait out there like 50 55 feet from the boat and just working it across the top of the brush pile you can see the the crappie uh, school up there and as the uh, lure would go across the the top of the brush pile they would hit it so i wasn't targeting specific fish like you would in open water there's one that's a good one too Little white cropping male. Look at that. That's another 13, 13 and a half inch white crappie. Look at that, dude. Mm. There's one. Oh, get up here. Another 12 and a half, 13 inch black. There's one. It's a bass or a catfish. That's a bass. Big bass. Look at this stud bass. Look at that toad bass. It's probably three and a half, maybe four pounds. Big toad. Just let her go. Thank you very much. Hey, this would be a great time to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. This is what I'm catching them on. The Slab Hunter by Bobby Garland. 
in the monkey milk color. That paddle tail has a lot of action. It's a little bit bigger bait. That's a crappie. That's a good one. Goodness gracious. Couldn't really see it. Man. Look at the size of that toad. Well, it's a black crappie. 13 and a quarter. And the take home message is Spot lock's awesome. It's been keeping me sitting on this school, on this particular brush pile where they're loaded up. It took me a second to figure out what they're hit hitting, and the bite is not exactly fast, but they are hitting. Okay, so here I'm casting out about 45 feet from the boat, and you can see the crappie schooled up about eight feet deep, and it's hard to see my weight and jig going across the top. One of them just hit it right there. Boom. Coming to the surface. And unfortunately, that one came off. Sometimes when they're far away, it's hard to hook them. That's one of the good reasons to use braid, which I typically don't do. Here's a nice school of crappie about 15, 20 feet long at eight feet deep. There you see my jig and weight going right around the top. Boom, one of them just hit it. Get up here. Nice black crappie. Look at that stone right here. Well, I'm gonna have 13 inch black. There's one. It's a good one too. Mm. It's a cat. Oh man, that's a crappie. Dang. Get in this boat. Mm. Thank you very much. Look at that. Another 13 inch black crappie. Ooh. There's one. Get in this boat, boat flip. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that. I'm gonna say at least 13, probably 13 and a half. This measure got his nose up tight. 13 and an eighth. Well, we're getting some. Thanks so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. God bless you all. And if you can, get out there and go fishing soon.